What is up? Travis with T-Customs Productions, T-Customs.com. In today's video, I'm stepping you inside of a recent hip hop instrumental session that I finalized. This is not gonna be a full comprehensive inside the beat or beat breakdown. If you're interested in that, uh, just let me know in the comments. I did put out a beat making video for this where I'm recreating it. And towards the end of that beat making video is actually where I bring in a string section uh, that's actually composed of, well, more of an orchestra section. It's strings, it's got some brass and horns and stuff. And this is the group right here that contains, I believe, six different elements. This is what I wanna focus on in this video today. I had a question about what patch I was using. Uh, just to let you know up front, these are just all stock sounds in live. I just thought it would be beneficial for some of you if you're using live. First, I just wanna play you a little snippet of what this hook sounds like, and then we'll get into the actual strings part. Let's just give you a little preview of what the hook sounds like and you can hear the orchestra section in there as well as that lead it's kind of subtle and, and follows the same melody line uh, like I mentioned that that beat making video is already up on the channel so that will be linked in the description or you can go back in the beat making videos playlist and, and check it out there if you're interested so if I scroll down like I mentioned all this orange is what I'm gonna focus on this orange or yellow color so this is the orchestra group and I have six uh, different elements here. So I'll just solo this out so again so you can uh, get a sense of just what this sounds like collectively. I also have a high pass filter with this is a 732 hertz. I'm going to disable this just so you can get a sense of what the whole uh, frequency range sounds like and then we can break it down with the filter and everything. first three elements of this group are all the same patch. I'm using the Strings Ensemble Legato stock patch in live. So if you have a full version of live, if you have access to these patches, you can go to your instrument rack and go to the Strings section and you'll see the uh, Strings Ensemble Legato. So basically all I did was I drug over this Strings Ensemble Legato instrument rack and created you know on this MIDI track. I didn't really adjust any of these settings within. You can feel free to experiment with that. The only other thing I did for these first three tracks is put an additional auto pan just to give some stereo movement. Now what you will notice is this first octave, if I solo this, or this first track, if I solo this, you'll hear it's kind of at a higher register octave and it's also panned 23R. So you get kind of a right panning So the second track, when I duplicated this, I created the same patch, obviously, and then I pitched it down an octave. So you'll see this is negative uh, 12 half steps for this track, and this is this is pan 22L. So you get that kind of the low register is more in the left channel. You get the higher registers more in the right channel. And so if I play those. And then this middle track is the exact same patch again, and it's at the higher register. This one is completely centered, and it's also brought, uh, brought down in the mix. If I toggle over to the other view, you'll see these meters on these two tracks here are both at the same uh, negative 0.8, and this is actually like 4.3. So that just is kind of more filler. So you get the left, right, and then you get more kind of filler just to make that strings kind of wide and a larger sound than what it would sound like independently with the individual stock patch. Okay, so then the last three um, elements that I added to this, again, more stock patches in live, is a French horn section legato. 
So I think this is under orchestral. Let's see. So French horn section legato right here. You'll notice that this is also pitched down, but this is actually two octaves, so this is a real low register. So if I just solo this, Next was a cello section legato, so I believe that is, that's in the orchestra as well. So cello section legato here. That's also at negative 24. French horn is center panned. This cello section I panned uh, 33L, so you get the left. So if I play those together, And then if I bring in uh, the brass ensemble, again, the low register, and this is also panned to the left. And then if I bring in the other elements. MIDI information is exactly the same. It really is just a pretty simple way um, to take, again, a single melody line, start with a single patch, and then just kind of stack elements. In the past, for orchestral sounds in particular, I've used plugins like Philharmonic or even Omnisphere is kind of one of those global comprehensive plugins that has a little bit of everything. So I'll, I still use that for pads and strings and whatever. And also for some of the other recent tracks I've been experimenting with more uh, of these stock sounds and just trying to take advantage of what sounds in here good. And so I hope that answers the question. Uh, you were asking what patch, so it was stock sounds, but it was a combination of four different uh, patches that were panned and slightly adjusted as far as vol volume and velocity. I hope that helps out if you have any other questions Questions. If you'd like to see, like I said, a full breakdown on this, feel free to let me know in the comments. Feel free to subscribe if you're new. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.